Hey y'all, Data Guy here. And today I got a great video. Uh, if you're interested in learning how to up-level your Airflow environments by introducing CI/CD with GitHub Actions. And I'm gonna also show you that it might not be as difficult as you think. Um, so what GitHub Actions CI/CD for uh, Airflow in general, but specifically here we're gonna be using Astronomer because this is what enables the GitHub Actions. Um, basically, big bottleneck in a lot of people's organizations is you'll have a data team that you have a bunch of different people that are all sharing one development. Um, and that's a huge pain in the ass. Um, so what I'm going to be showing you today is basically a sequence um, through GitHub Actions and Astronomer that allows you to create ephemeral development environments. And what that means is that every time I deploy code into the CICD pipeline that I'll show you here into my repo, it will actually take that code create an ephemeral airflow environment to test that code, run it, make sure it passes all the unit tests, and then push any code changes that pass those unit tests into production. Um, the advantage of this over having you know, one unified dev workspace is all of your developers can push changes at once. They don't have to wait for one developer to finish testing uh, in the development workspace. They can all develop in parallel, uh, removing that bottleneck of a development workspace while still maintaining the same level of control of how code gets into um, so GitHub Actions, the Astro uh, Actions for creating deployment reviews make that super easy. But even if you're not doing that, having a CI/CD pipeline is just great in general for you know maintaining controls over what code is actually being brought into production environment. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Um, so first thing you're going to want to do here is create a new GitHub repo. Um, so you can use this one. I'll put this link in the description, but you can see GitHub Astronaut Yates webinar CICD. Um, so if you want to copy an example repo, and basically what you're really going to be wanting still here is the GitHub work section. Um, so I'm going to take us back in our local repo and show you when we're pushing in a second, but it's crucial that you actually set the values within your hosted repo when you're creating the um, So what's going to happen within this first workflow script is every time a new branch is created, use my Astro Workspace API token, which I'll show you where you're gonna put that in the GitHub secrets, to create a fresh Airflow environment based off of an existing Airflow environment. So in this case, it's a production environment um, or just like a base development environment you wanna save. Um, then it will create a deployment, so a new Airflow environment based on those specs, deploy the code that you're trying to push CICD pipeline on there um, and have it available for you to run. And then what you can also do is within that Docker file, you can have commands that say, hey, once this code is pushed, then trigger, you know, unit testing, code integrity tests, things of that nature. So this is one script um, that you'll need to add. So here you'll also have a deployment, uh, delete preview deployment. So this is saying, hey, once I actually pull that code into my main branch, delete that deployment preview. You don't need it anymore. Let's not pay for it. Um, you'll also have um, deploy to main deployment. Um, so this is just also deploying the code. So once you push it to main, it's going to take that code and push it to your production deployment, which you'll specify with the ID here. Um, and then finally, let's say, you know, I run into some problems with my preview deployment. Oh no, I screwed up some syntax errors, whatever. I can deploy a quick code change to preview um, if I just pull that code from main. Um, so I can just kind of reset it, just go back to the uh, code that actually worked. Um, so that's how it's set up on the GitHub side of things. So you'll create a new GitHub uh, repo. You will upload your code. So that I you know, create linkage between local repo. So get in it on your local repo, set it to refer to posted one. Um, and then what you'll do is under settings. Let me quick sign in for a second. So under settings over here, what you'll want to do to actually enable this um, is get your uh, Astro Workspace API token and put it in here. So this is how it's actually going to be connecting into the Astro control plane uh, and then deploying that code. So I've already set a value here, so we're not going to update that um, and break all my code. And then the way you will create that um, in Astronomer is go to your workspace. Um, you can also go to astronomer.io and start a free trial and try all this out yourself. Um, go to your workspace, go to access managements, uh, and then just create an API token. Here, you're going to want to make sure you create a workspace API token um, and give it uh, admin name. So call this YouTube. 
Um, create API token, copy it, save it. Don't worry, I'm going to delete this after this video. And boom, now we have our API token ready to be used. Um, so we will actually delete this API token, but I'll do that later. Um, so now bring it back in here, paste in your repository secrets. Um, and then what we'll do is kick it over to our local repo so I can show you what it looks like on that side of things. We can actually deploy and watch that deployment preview created. Um, but actually, one more thing before I do that is I want you to see um, this deployment here. So this is the base deployment that we'll be using. That's the ID, my GitHub action scripts, that ID here. Um, don't worry, if you don't that key, my ID means. So over here in my, my local repo, um, what you'll see is it's going to be a lot more of the same. Um, so we are, have the same GitHub action scripts, workflows, deployment pre, all this is exact same. Um, I have different DAGs, important, um, and pretty simple setup here. Um, and so see, I'm not running the latest version of Airflow. Um, and now, if I want to deploy, so I'm assuming you've already added this, uh, initialize this as a GitHub repo. Um, if not, you just have to get in it and then get remote at origin and you can tell of your repo. Um, so what I'll do here is get a net. Um, and then what's also important is that you log into Astronomer after you get a net because get a net, well, or once you initialize the repository and then give that repository access um, to Astronomer. Get in it after you uh, auth into Astro, um, you'll get an authentication error. And I'm also going to do another thing a little unconventional, and that's log in token here. And the reason I am logging in with a token is because I have a metric ton of uh, Airflow instances up in environments. And so I need to make sure I'm logging into the right one. So tokens are a great way to ensure that I'm actually doing that. Um, so to log in with a token, you're just going to go to Astro. Uh, you probably won't do, you do it anyways. You're probably just going to Astro login. Uh, Oh, yeah, fix. Um, and so once I have logged in, you'll see this is logging to Astro, authenticating me. Um, and now my uh, billing workspace. Um, and so what I'll do here then is uh, get checkout main, make sure I'm in my main branch. Um, and then I'm going to create a new branch. So I'm going to create branch M2. Then I'm going to switch to that branch, check out M2. Uh, then I'm going to git commit. Um, then I'm going to that um, and set it upstream. Create a new origin, and boom! So now we have created a new branch, um, and we've deployed some code to it. So what we should see happening on the uh, cloud UI side of things is that it is going to start creating a fresh deployment for us. Let's see if that's actually happening. So if we switch back over, it's access token. Again, this will rotate it, so about it. Um, and if I go in my deployment, refresh the page, and boom. I had to actually go back and fix my deployment ID, so it did screw up the first time. Uh, so got to be fully honest here. But I did skip and quick reset the ID and then set up as M3 billing here. Um, so you can see it's creating a new deployment uh, preview, which then anytime I pull that code from that deployment preview, it passes my checks, uh, it'll automatically delete after it's uh, gone through that. Um, and so you can automate this further by introducing your own, like, you know, data quality checks, um, you know, your own code quality checks that will run on that deployment preview um, or part of that deployment process uh, at repo. Um, so really making that process um, much, much easier. Um, as you can see, I've set that up in what, under 10 minutes, um, barely cut in this video. Um, so, and two. Um, so go check it out. Everything in here is, is free. You can get a trial on Astronomer um, and GitHub is obviously always free. Um, so check it out. Links to everything will be in the description uh, and have a good one. Data guy out.